Hello everyone, this is Gomrath here, and today I'm going to be attempting to bring you a team to beat Sir Galveston, Sir Aqua, with a full water type team, or aquatic type team. Now, this is my first time trying this, so it may not work, and if it doesn't, you're never going to hear me brag about it, uh, because I'll just have to make a new video. But here's the setup that I have. So I have the Slither Shock Elver, which is an awesome pet that drops from the Garrison uh, Menagerie when you fight Eris. And uh, what I'm running is I got the Dodge, Dive, Slash, Deep Bite combo. And I'm using him to do as much damage as I can to uh, Sir Merkton here. Or Merkston. Um, I'm going to dodge the Merc lift off and then just bite him a couple times and do dive. And then I've got my Moonshell Crab in my second slot, and that's to do as much damage to Coach as possible. And this is hard because, you know, he has lift off, so I know that lift off is just going to, like, destroy me. And then I've got the Tides Keeper kind of as my cleanup. He's got a really hard hitting crush. Then he has Body Slam, and he's got Geyser, so we will see how this what plays do out. Okay, like I said, I'm going to be using Dodge here to get rid of this Falling Murloc. And then I'm just going to be stacking this. Um, you know, I'm just going to stack this as high as I can, the Deep Bite. It's a lot like Arcane Blast. Because I know he's going to switch into coach. No, actually, he's going to switch into uh, the greatest foe here. He's actually probably going to do it this turn. Is he? I'm going to guess he's going to do it. I'm going to try to anticipate it and go in for a dive. Nope. Oh, falling down. Dang it. Okay. That was not the most auspicious start. Now he's going to switch into his flying type here. So we will start off with, no, no, we'll go Arcane Slash. Okay, now he's gonna go into Lift Off, so I'm gonna do Shell Shield. And then I'm gonna do another Arcane Slash. Ugh, that hurts so bad. Boom, that hit hard though. Okay, he's gonna do that. I'm gonna do Moon Tears, get a little bit of healing on my guy. Briefly, he does not run in a, another ability like that. Okay. He's going to do Falling Merc a lot. Oh, no, he's going to do Righteous Inspiration. So we're going to be de relying on my Tides Keeper to just kind of clean up everything here. So he's going to hit me with Dark Flame. That killed me. Of course it does. And now he's going to have a really hard hitting breath. So, should I try to... I'm just going to try to kill him as fast as I can with Crush. Okay. Middle. Let's see. Oh, nice high-end hit there. Come on, one more. Give me, something, give me something to write home about. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. This goes off after three rounds. He's going to hit me really hard with this. And I'm barely going to have enough health, especially if it doesn't crit. Okay, didn't crit. 290. He's got 300 health. Come on. Yes! Not even close, guys. Like, I wasn't even worried there at all. He lied cleverly. Um, okay, so you saw the whole makeup of the team. That was close. You know, you could also probably use one of the young mutant uh, war turtles. Because they got Jab and Tornado Punch. The reason I didn't go with one of them is because the Tides Keeper's Crush just hits harder than the uh, than Jab. So, yeah. Does Jab always go first? I feel like this would be a move that should always go first. Because Anyway, if you found this video helpful, like, rating would always be appreciated. And as always, it was a pleasure gaming with you.